Orange County. It's Shelby Brown with OC Mom TV, and I am here at the happiest place on earth for the Disney 60th celebration. And I'm here with Justin. Hi, Justin. Hi. Can you tell everybody a little bit about who you are and what you do? Here? Yeah, I work for the Walt Disney Archive, so wow. uh, I'm down here bringing a little bit of Disneyland's history to the Diamond Celebration. Oh my goodness! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little step back in time to what it looked like 60 years ago here and show you some amazing artifacts. Correct? Yes. Okay, so let's go. Can you tell us All a little right. bit? Yeah, um, so some of the earliest things we have here are um, from the press preview opening day of July wow. 17th, 1955. This is the invitation and the parking pass from that day. And uh, it was actually, um, there were only about 10,000 invitations sent out to invitees, and 28,000 people showed up. That oh day. my goodness, I can only so imagine. So it was, it was uh, a lot going on that day. Right. Um, right behind it, we have Walt's number one name tag. In the earliest days of the park, the cast members didn't actually have the, their names on their name tags. Really? They were bronze like this, and they were numbered. So, okay. of course, Walt had number one, and of this course. is his original name tag. It wasn't until 1962 that we got our new names on the name okay. tags. <laughs> Um, a later version of ticketing was the ticket books, and um, they premiered in October of 1955. But uh, the famous e-ticket that a lot okay. of people know about yes, didn't actually about roll that. out until 1959. Okay. Um, and so this is um, these are two 1959 ticket books from when the Matterhorn, the Monorail, and the Subs all premiered. And the Matterhorn, of course, has new magic. Right. Um, We've this heard. Week. We can't yes. wait to find out. Um, this is um, one of the earliest, also souvenirs as well. Um, it's a Kepi cap. And in the early days, you didn't actually see that many kids running around with mouse ears. A lot more of them were wearing keppy caps. Really? That's um, fascinating. That looked like little construction helmets. Those are so cute. Um, and they're so cool. But mouse ears were incredibly popular after the Mickey Mouse Club launched in October of 1955. Yes. And um, these are some of the very earliest mouse ears that were sold here in the park. Um, and um, you'll see the original Mickey Mouse Club logo on there as well. I love it. And how about this book here? This book is actually the very first Disneyland guidebook. Okay. So uh, this one doesn't even have photographs. It's so early. They had all illustrations of the park. And the other cool story about it is that at the time, um, they wanted to sell it for a lot more money. And Walt said, why don't we sell it for a quarter and okay. people take it home and put it on their coffee tables. Then everybody will know about this new land. Right, right. So he was he was pretty innovative, even with marketing in that regard. <laughs> yes, brilliant man, right? <laughs> yes, yes. And so we're going to switch back to the 20th century and come back with Justin. So... Tell us, where can people see these amazing artifacts? Well, we actually are putting all of this and more into an exhibit coming up in August at the D23 Expo in Anaheim. The Walt Disney Archives is putting on Disneyland The Exhibition, so come check us out this August. Oh, that's fantastic. So everyone can find out all the history they've ever wanted to know about Walt and the Disneyland. Yes. There. And, that, um, and if you need more information on that, um, you can find it at d23.com. Wonderful. And just one more question. How do you keep everything so preserved so perfectly, like the day it was 60 years ago? Ooh, well, we take really good care of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and where is it all stored? Um, most of this is stored very close to home with us in okay. the archives. So. In the archives. Yes. Oh, wonderful. That's great. So make sure and get your tickets for the D23 Expo and come celebrate Disney's 60th anniversary here at Disneyland. Bye.